Robin Navigator. And uh, so we're going to an old fishing spot from, I don't know how many years ago? It was only about 10. Um, yeah, so we're following this little road here and we come out and go up there. Here's the car park. Pain display. Yeah, so we're at the Riverside car park. June says she's got to get her boots on and we're going to see where we're going. Yeah, we're down about here. You need one hour. Well, less than that. Yeah. yeah. So, press the... Oh, you're pushing the buttons. Mm. You haven't used the stuff on your hands first. Mm. What on earth is that? Checking your rights in progress. <laughs> oh, hang on, I didn't catch that. So we are here, but on a nice ordinary map, car park here. And that's where we used to fish many years ago. And Letch Lade is where Gus had family. And we've got to walk through here. Yeah, so we got to the river. And the Riverside Pub. There's the bridge. There's the sign. If you keep walking downstream, you will reach London in about 10 days. Could do that. Mm. Want to do that now? Mm. No? Yeah. So planning our route, we're here, going to walk round along the river, cut across to the car park. That's the Haythony Bridge, and uh, it um, was, was built in 1782, and until 1839, everyone who crossed had to pay Haythony. Yes, yeah, so I reckon I used to fish here with Gus and possibly one or two others 65 years ago. Just spoke to a lovely couple and they said, yeah, the lock and the trout farm were the other side of the bridge. Right, this is the boundary. That's the field we used to fish and we'll go back to the car park that way. So we're going back on what is the official footpath. Oh, it's a puddle dune. Can I walk through it? Turns out that Muggins has got to drive because June has to change her shoes according to what she's doing, walking or driving. So we're here and the idea is to go to something like Welford at the end of the runway, RAF, Fairford. Yeah, I recall F-111s flying from Fairford a few years ago. That's the American swing wing fighter. This looks a bit of a hairy approach. Blimey. Just leaving RAF Fiveford and uh, spoke the lovely civilian police guy on duty and it seems it's all in mothballs now so no Americans or any military to speak of here at all which is a bit what we expected. Right and now to hand deliver our package. Package delivered. <laughs> Just had a lovely conversation with a lady. It turns out B-52s have flown into Fairford recently. Uh, right, but now it's off home. Well, that was yesterday. There is today it is a typical 1st of December in the UK, uh, in England, and uh, incredibly hot, so don't know what we do today.